All right, I want to give you my Santa Claus story just by chance that you haven't heard it before, but um, first of all, the, a lot of great comments here. I appreciate all the stuff here. Um, I won't read them all, but uh, a lot of good stuff here and a great conversation here with these guys. And let me just say this, uh, this fella here, I choose to unsubscribe to this channel and wouldn't recommend these teachings. Okay, that's fine. I, I you know, I don't care if you're gonna, if your standard is well, if you disagree with somebody on something, and you're gonna uh, unsubscribe, and you have to, I would have to unsubscribe from everybody because I've never met anybody that I am uh, that I completely agree with on all points. Um, and then it's interesting here that you apparently it, to me whenever I see Yahoo Wushua whatever that is that tells me that you hate the Lord Jesus Christ now the Bible I hold in my hands says there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved no other name other than the name Jesus now obviously when you attack the King James Bible you're also telling me that you don't believe in any perfect Bible in any language anywhere in the world at any time in human history and therefore we can't trust God we have to trust you to tell us what God says because you are God that's the only way to look at it it's, there's no other way there is no other possible way if you don't have a perfect Bible then you're left to your own imagination and that's trouble and of course I apologize for that um, of course uh, it's interesting here you shall be surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay for shall the work say of him that made it he made me not or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it he had no understanding so God doesn't understand but you understand so we got to depend on you we can't depend on the Word of God so that's how I look at it I don't see any other logical way of looking at it I really don't and you're coming up with yeah who was you that's not in it it's not in my Bible and isn't it interesting? You change his name already to Yahuwah. Yahuwah. That's not in my Bible either, buddy. You know? And, you know, I could get into that. I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to tell you my story about Christmas. All right? When I was about five years old, maybe I was seven, maybe I was nine. I don't know. I was a little kid. I went to my aunt and uncle's. And here comes a knock at the door, and here comes a, a guy dressed in a red suit. And it looked a lot like this guy right here. Right? Looked a lot like that fella right there. Turned out it was my uncle. But... Uh, he had uh, he had the hat and everything, and they wanted me to sit on his lap, and I just said nah, -uh. and I started crying, and I was scared. I didn't know what was going on. This, I didn't know who it was, and I was afraid, and I was crying, and I grabbed mom and said no, no, and she said okay, you don't have to, and so I didn't. I. To me, there was something weird 
about this idea of a guy living in the North Pole. I didn't like it. It didn't make any sense. And then this idea that he had elves making presents. I didn't like it. It didn't make any sense. I didn't know what was going on. It scared me. In the same way, it scared me when I was taken to the drive-in, the drive-in movie theater, and there was a movie called Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I couldn't hardly take it, man. After about five, maybe ten minutes, I started freaking out. There's something not right about... That's not... This guy right here, I, I've seen him in other movies, he, he's fine, he's funny, he's uh, jolly, joyful, whatever. Um, but this particular movie, uh-uh, there's something not right about it. It scared me. It's the worst, the scariest movie I'd ever seen in my entire life. And bar none. It's not. There's no other movie that even compares. This stuff ain't right to me. There's something wrong with the whole thing. I don't like it. I've never seen it. The only time I've ever seen it was the five or ten minutes I was at the drive-in. Something wrong. Same thing with Santa Claus. There's something wrong with Santa Claus. So, having said that, we when uh, we celebrate Christmas let me get out of that when we celebrate Christmas we don't celebrate this fruitcake and I don't understand what this fruitcake has to do with the birth of baby Jesus I don't understand what a Christmas tree has to do with the birth of baby Jesus. In the same way, I don't understand what a rabbit laying eggs has to do with the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. All right, so I want to go back to this. This fellow has a problem with what my views. Okay, that's fine. Um. But let me say it this way. Okay, so we got Christmas is a celebration of the resurrection. That's where our hope is. For us that are saved, or just for Christians in general, this is a celebration of the, of the, the Christmas is a celebration of the birth of baby Jesus. Just like Easter is a celebration of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We celebrate these days. Now, isn't it interesting that the pagans have come in and intertwined their traditions with our holy days? Because there is no connection between a fat man in a red suit in the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is no connection at all. There's no connection with reindeers to the birth of baby Jesus. There's no connection to the Christmas tree and the birth of baby Jesus. No connect just like there's no connection with rabbits laying eggs with the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now think about this. If rabbits don't lay eggs, then Jesus never resurrected. And so also, if Santa is not true, then baby Jesus is not true. Now isn't that the position you're taking, Robbie Turbo? that baby Jesus wasn't born December 25th. 
It's weird. Your issue is not with the birth. What your issue? I'm sorry. Your issue is not with Satan Claus, but it's with the birth of baby Jesus. So you remove the name Jesus, give him a different name, and then you give him a different birth. He, the problem isn't Santa Claus. The problem is me saying that Jesus was born December 25th. To me, that's just extremely odd. You got two sides and you're choosing to attack the birth of baby Jesus. And meanwhile, I... I'm wholly against Satan Claus. And my argument is that the pagans have intertwined their traditions, their pagan holidays, in with what we celebrate as the birth of baby Jesus. Now, Roderick had a great comment here somewhere. If I could find it. Let's see if I can find it here. There it is. On the commemoration of a birth, it's sad when so-called believers have an issue with it. Let's read on what a few pagans did for his birth. Matthew 2, verse 10. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Verse 11. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Isn't that interesting? That on the birth of our Lord Jesus, baby Jesus, now, keep in mind, he's from everlasting. When he was born of the virgin, his mother Mary, this was God manifest in the flesh. Make no mistake about it. Jesus is God Almighty. But when this occurred, these people celebrated. They fell down, worshipped him, and they presented gifts. That, that aspect is part of Christmas, a part of the tradition, a part of the holy day. When you get together with your family and you eat food and exchange gifts, I don't think that's a sin. I really don't. I don't think, I don't see anything wrong with that at all. And you're doing it in remembrance or in respect to the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ or the birth of baby Jesus right I don't see anything wrong with that at all okay now if you wanna celebrate Christmas on November 11th that's that's on you okay I'm not going to get into the whole November 11th thing, in my opinion, on it. it. It's not a good, positive opinion. All right, and it's it's not the one that you're going to see on TV either. Okay, so anyways, uh, I don't have any problem at all if you want to get together with your family, eat a bunch of food, and get real fat. I'm I'm all, I'm all for that. I do that every day, but I'll do it on Christmas with the family, that's fine. You betcha. Eat a bunch of food and get fat. I like it. I like it. And if you're going to get mad at me because I like it, that's okay. All right. All right. So, and then also the, the word Easter. Well, I'm not going to get into it. We'll wait till we'll get more into that come March or whenever that is, April, or I don't even know when Easter is, honestly.
So there's a great conversation, great comments here. Appreciate them all. And uh, I, I guess I'll leave you this with this one thing that I, I've let everybody know for years now that if on December 24th, on Christmas Eve, if a big fat white man wearing a red suit breaks into my house, I'm going to shoot him between the nose. I got a shotgun and I'll be up all night waiting for a big fat man in a red suit to break into my house. I'm going to get him. <laughs>